Jamie, I'm going to fire questions at you now. Don't yeah. be alarmed. So, uh, <laughs> so where are you from? Liverpool, the Norris Green. Yeah, Norris Green. Yeah. Know it well. And uh, how old are you? I'm 15. So, who are you caring for? What's your situation at yeah. home? My mum. She's got mental health problems. And, yeah, I've got a little brother and stuff. So, what does your sort of daily routine involve? Um, just like keeping the house in check and making my mum stuff her tablets and her medications all right, making sure she's okay if she needs me to stay with her, if she needs me to go to appointments or go even go to the shops or walk down the street, just stick by her if she needs me. So you need to be with her sort of most of the time? Yeah, most of the time that I can be with her, I need to be there just in case she needs me. And then if not, I'm only a phone call away to get home to her. So, yeah. <laughs> See, I've got a 15-year-old at home and neither me nor a mother ever see her. She hardly ever comes out of a bedroom and uh, in the nicest possible way, you know, tries not to contribute. But you, you, absolutely, you absolutely have to, don't you? You're, you're just essential. You haven't got the opportunity to go off and do what other 15-year-olds do often. Yeah, you've just got to be there whenever you can. And if they need you, then you're, they are your priority to look after. So you're the only person... If at, in, the, in the situation, you're the only person that can look after them and knows what to do. So what, what about your friends at school then? How do you explain to them why often, I suppose, you can't be out with them you know, doing, doing whatever you do during the school holidays? I've got very understanding friends, so they all understand my situation and help me whenever's possible. And, yeah, they just stick by me whenever I need them. And they un- really, really do understand if I can't go out with them. Mm. I mean, you're coming across as absolutely angelic here, but there must be times <laughs> you get there must be times you get fed up, and it's all right to get fed up. Honestly, you know, when when do you just get ratty with it and just get? I don't know. It's it's tough, you know. And there's there's nothing wrong with sort of lashing out against that from time to time, I suppose. Yeah, it's just like the like the most situations. It's in school. When teachers are trying to like make me stay behind and stuff like that, and they do, they don't understand anything that's going on, so that's what like annoys me the most. Just people understand them why you can't stay, or why you don't get your homework done or revision and stuff like that. So that's the only thing that really annoys me.